Despite being considered a strong and well-balanced team in Euro 2024, Portugal isn't receiving overly high expectations. The main focus is on this being Cristiano Ronaldo's final European Championship appearance. When it comes to competing for the title, Portugal, who won the championship eight years ago, is currently ranked fifth by Opta's supercomputer, behind Spain, which is in the process of rebuilding with young players. Looking at their performance in the qualifiers, Portugal advanced to the group stage with six teams. They finished as the highest scoring and least conceding team, although some argue that their group was relatively easy. Nevertheless, the European Selecao, Portuguese national team, deserves credit. In this Euro edition held in Germany, coach Roberto Martinez has assembled a squad spanning three generations. It includes rising stars like Joao Neves and Antonio Silva, as well as established players like Bruno Fernandes, Bernardo Silva, Ruben Diaz, and the indispensable veterans, Ruiz Patricio, Danilo Pereira, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Pepe, who have been part of the team since Euro 2016. In defense, traditionally Portugal's strong suit during their Euro triumph, the team shows solidity. The selected players are key figures in major clubs, including Porto, Benfica, and Sporting Lisbon. The wing-back positions are expected to be contested by Joao Cancelo, Diogo Dalo, and Nuno Mendes, while Nelson Semedo serves as a reliable backup. At centre-back, Ruben Dias, in top form at Manchester City, is a sure starter. The question is who will partner with him. Antonio Silva and Goncalo Inazio are the most likely choices. Both are young talents sought after by clubs outside Portugal. Notably absent from this debate is Pepe, who, due to his age, 41, as of February 2024, is unlikely to feature prominently in such a major tournament. Even in friendly matches, Pepe's chances are diminishing. Goncalo Inazio, the sporting Lisbon centre-back, played the most minutes across all three friendlies, 225 minutes. His left-footed profile likely works in his favour. Meanwhile, Pepe had only 45 minutes of play in the final friendly against the Republic of Ireland, operating as part of a five-man defence. At this point, it's clear that Pepe's presence in the national team is primarily about spirit and experience. The former Real Madrid defender's call-up mirrors the cases of fellow veterans Ruiz Patricio and Danilo. It signifies a role in motivating and passing down wisdom to younger teammates, ready to step in when needed. Except for Cristiano Ronaldo, who remains an exceptional force, the time for these players at the national team level is transitioning toward the twilight of their careers. At the age of 41, Pepe continues to impress with his strong performances in Porto's colors. His unwavering commitment on the field often makes us forget his true age. After winning the Champions League with Real Madrid in the 2016-2017 season, Pepe moved to Besiktas before returning to Porto. Many believed his time was up, but his dedication and loyalty persist. Since his return to Portuguese football, Pepe has consistently played in more than 33 matches per season. His injury-free status at this age allows him to maintain peak performance. In fact, last season, Pepe set a record in the Champions League. He became the first player in the prestigious European competition's history to score at the age of 40. This remarkable feat occurred during Porto's match against Royal Antwerp in the group stage. Pepe's powerful header from a left-wing cross secured a 2-0 victory for his team, breaking the previous record held by Francesco Totti, who scored at 38 years and 59 days. At the national team level, apart from winning Euro 2016, Pepe has consistently been part of the tournament's best ENCSI in the 2008, 2012, and 2016 editions. His affinity for this competition continues as he partners with Ruben Dias in Portugal's Euro 2024 campaign. Their victory against Turkey confirms that Porto's veteran defender remains a trusted asset on their journey in Germany. 
Pepe's performances in the first two group stage matches have been truly astonishing for a 41-year-old player. In the opening game against the Czech Republic, he set another record by becoming the oldest player to feature in a Euro Finals match, surpassing Hungary's Gabor Karali. Sporting gray shorts, Pepe played the full 83 minutes, showcasing a 97% pass accuracy, seven clearances, four-headed clearances, four recoveries, and impressive dueling stats. His resilience and defensive prowess contributed to Portugal's clean sheet against Turkey. And remember, this is only the second time Portugal has kept a clean sheet in their last seven matches. Pepe's performance at the age of 41 continues to defy expectations. After Portugal's impressive victory against Turkey in Euro 2024, the veteran defender humbly attributed the win to the collective effort of the entire team. He stated, we all played well today. The entire team worked diligently following the coach's instructions. We knew it would be a tough match, but we fought for our nation's colors. Today, we played exceptionally well for everyone, our families, our fans, and we all deserve recognition. Pepe's remarkable journey extends back to Portugal's Euro 2016 triumph. Among the few remaining players from that championship winning squad, Cristiano Ronaldo, Pepe, Ruiz Patricio, and Danilo Pereira, only Ronaldo and Pepe continue to feature prominently. In the memorable Euro 2016 final against France, Ronaldo suffered an early injury, leaving Portugal with defensive challenges. Pepe stepped up as a leader, anchoring the defense against France's relentless attacks. Ultimately, Eder's decisive extra-time goal secured Portugal's historic victory, and Pepe was rightfully named the standout player of that match. Throughout his career, Pepe has been known for his tenacity and no-nonsense defending. Even when playing alongside stars like Sergio Ramos at Real Madrid, Pepe's contributions often went beyond the spotlight. His resilience and unwavering commitment make him one of the world's finest center backs. To some, he may appear as a fierce competitor, but for Real Madrid fans and Portuguese supporters, Pepe remains a football legend. At over 40 years old, Pepe continues to perform at a high level, showcasing remarkable endurance and maintaining peak physical condition. His nickname, the Ageless Warrior, is well-deserved for the contributions he has made to the beautiful game.